few minutes. Kirsten, what do you say we take that swinging bridge and go across it? Oh, you know, I don't know if I <laughs> can busy? do that. I know it. <laughs> I, yeah, I'll be busy that day. All right, outside on our River Spirit Cam this morning, it's a nice quiet start to the day. We're actually looking at north as we were talking earlier. Uh, outside, temps are coming in almost at 80 degrees this morning, and there are a few clouds to our south as we start our day off, but uh, uh, again, it's a dry start for us out there this morning. Uh, temps are in from the south, 15 miles per hour. We're going to see this winds anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour as we move through the day today. Now, our uh, temperatures this morning, mid to upper 70s, 73 in Tahlequah and Pryor, about 75 in Bartlesville, 79 this morning in Tulsa, and about 77 this morning if you're waking up over towards Grove or in McAllister. And our wind speeds are going to be a little bit strong today. They'll be out of the south, and again, they'll be anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So you'll have that nice breeze with those temperatures getting back up there in the mid-90s. So we're going to be seeing those temperatures uh, back up well above average later on today. Here's your future track today. We're going to be seeing uh, dry conditions. You may see a few scattered showers well to the south east, but that's the only chance for rain throughout the day. Uh, it's going to stay nice and dry here in Tulsa with partly cloudy conditions and uh, temperatures again getting back up to about 94. Uh, but there is a slight chance, marginal chance, I should say, I've seen uh, showers and storms become stronger to severe across parts of green country, mainly from Tulsa north. Best chance for seeing some of those severe storms will remain to our north and to our west later on this afternoon and uh, and tonight. So here's how it's looking uh, for our future track this evening. You'll see some showers and storms develop just to the north. They'll swing down along the frontal boundary should be making their way in towards the area around midnight. And at that point, they may still have that chance of potentially being stronger to severe. If they are severe, it's going to be winds that are really the main threat with those as they push through the area. Uh, they should go pretty quick, though. And by 2 o'clock, 2 to 3 o'clock, they should be through Tulsa, pushing into southern portions of green country at that point. Okmulgee, Muskogee, you'll be seeing those showers and storms then. Uh, and again, with that, they'll be getting out of that risk for seeing severe storms as you hit more stable air than heading in towards the south uh, throughout the evening. So that's what we're expecting is a quick little round of some showers and storms in the middle of the night tonight. But through the day today, it is going to be dry and it is going to be hot. Highs will get up to 94 for the high. You'll see 92 in Pryor, Grove and Muskogee and about 90 over in Tahlequah this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, we should be waking up around 73 degrees. Again, that's after showers and storms move through. So those temps getting on up into the 90s today with those winds from the south. We'll be looking for uh, th that chance for rain tonight and uh, into early tomorrow morning and those temperatures will be staying in the 90s for the remainder of the week as we head towards the weekend with those overnight lows staying in the 70s. So temp staying well above average and again for the next seven days we've seen very hot pattern and we're going to continue to see that despite a front moving through and bringing a chance for showers and storms temps will remain again anywhere from about five to ten degrees above average for the remainder of the week. Lisa.